viewers welcome to this video in this video we are going to learn how to change from active to passive voice for future tense forms let us see how to change from active to passive for simple future future continuous and future perfect let us see from active to passive what kind of change is made in the verb so for simple future it is will plus be plus past participle and for future continuous it is going to plus be plus past participle for future future perfect it is will have plus been plus past participle in active what is the format the structure for simple future means it is subject plus will plus v1 plus object and in passive it is subject plus will plus be plus v3 plus by plus object so it is for simple future then for future continuous in active the structure is subject plus is or or plus going to plus v1 plus object and in passive it is subject plus is or or plus going to plus b plus v3 plus by plus object and for future perfect in active the structure is subject plus will plus have plus v3 plus object in passive it is subject plus will plus have plus been plus v3 plus by plus object let us see how to change from active to passive for simple future with an example cat will eat mouse firstly find the tense now in the given sentence the tense is in future tense how did i identify it means by seeing the verb that is verb form is will plus v1 so the structure for simple future in active voice is subject plus will plus v1 plus object so in passive it is subject plus will plus b plus v3 plus by plus object now identify the subject and object cat will eat mouse so subject is cat and object is mouse now interchange the subject and object when we interchange the subject and object now the mouse becomes subject and cat becomes the object now interchange the subject and object when we interchange it becomes mouse will be eaten by cat just see the changes we have made for the verb will eat has changed to will be eaten so this is the change we have to make in simple future for verb and for subject and object when we do this we will get passive form for the given active voice then next let us see how to change from active voice to passive voice for future perfect tense the, the given the example is cat will have eaten mouse now how did i identify that it is future perfect tense i have identified it by seeing the verb that is in the format will have eaten so by seeing this i identified that the given sentence is in future perfect tense cat will have eaten mouse now interchange the subject and object when we interchange the subject and object mouse will have been eaten by cat so what is the structure for future perfect in active means it is subject plus will have plus v3 plus object in passive it is subject plus will have plus been plus v3 plus by plus object so likewise we have made the change whenever we see had have has so following that should be been so likewise we have made the change from active to passive for future perfect also cat will have eaten mouse mouse will have been eaten by cat next let us see how to change from active to passive for simple future and future perfect tense with more examples so she will make cake will make by saying will make we we can identify that the given sentence is in future simple future tense so she will make cake now interchange the subject and object cake will be made by her 
so objective case of she is her so we have given as her they will make cakes so identify the subject and object and identify the tense the tense here is simple future tense so interchange the subject and object cakes will be made by them the objective case for they is them next we will have made cakes cakes will have been made by us so we the objective case is us and cakes becomes subject in passive so cakes will have been made by us so this is in which tense means future perfect tense how did i identify that it is a future perfect tense means we can see the verb form that is will plus have plus past participle this shows that it is in future perfect tense next i will have made cake so again this is also in future perfect tense identify the subject and object i subject and cake object interchange the subject and object cake will have been made by me the objective case for i is me so uh, we have written the object and passive voice as me next let us see how to change from passive to active for future tense that is simple future and future perfect future continuous is rarely used so i have not given any example for it just the format alone i have given the car will be designed by him so here the subjective case for him is he so he is the subject and the car is the object so he will design the car so see the answer he will design the car and next the cars will be designed by him uh, we had to remove be so subject is cars and object is uh, him so sub subjective case for uh, object him is he so he will design the cars then next for future perfect uh, how we have to make the change means remove been and the car becomes object in active and him becomes that is a, a, a subjective case for him is he he becomes subject in active so he will have designed the cars the car then next the cars will have been designed by him he will have designed the cars so this is the way we have to change from passive to active next let us see self evaluation for changing from active to passive just pass the video and read the question properly and answer it my father will water this plant identify the subject and object my father is subject and this plant is object and in which tense it is means it is in simple future how did we identify that means by seeing the format will plus verb that is water will water uh, so it is in simple future now how should we change it means this plant will be watered by my father this is the way we have to change from active to passive for simple future tense likewise his mother will prepare dinner in the kitchen his mother is subject and dinner is object will prepare is verb now interchange the subject and object dinner will be prepared by his mother in the kitchen then next the students will discuss the pollution problems the pollution problems will be discussed by the students next he will have broken his nose in a football match he will have so now it is in future perfect tense so we have to identify the subject and object and we have to change as his nose will have been broken by him in a football match the florist will have delivered the flowers florist subject flowers object will have it is in future perfect tense now interchange the subject and object the flowers will have been delivered by the florist the rosy will solve the problem rosy will solve the problem the problem object rosy subject will solve it is in future tense so how can we change it means the problem will be solved by rosy so this is the way we have to change from active to passive for future tense forms 
so i hope you might have understood the video listen that is how to change from active to passive for future tense forms thank you for watching